So in this video, I will show you how to calculate the flexure reinforcement for a beam. So here beam size is so 380 into 600 millimeter. So 380 is width of the beam and 600 is depth of the beam. So grade of concrete FCK. So I will use 20 Newton per millimeter square and grade of steel FY. So it will be 500 Newton per mm square. So I will assume a effective effective cover as 60 mm hence effective effective depth of the beam will become so d minus effective cover so overall depth of the beam is 600 minus effective cover 60 so effective depth of the beam will be 540 540 millimeter so this is the p-taps file so size of the beam 380 into 600 millimeter it is beam number i have chosen b25 it is beam number and here the support moment is 163.14 here the span moment it is 162.16 so your support moment is hogging so your span moment is sagging again at this location also you have hogging moment The magnitude will be much more less than this 163.14 so I will show the reinforcement calculation for this end uh, for support moment so here mu is 163.14 kilonewton meter so this is my analysis moment This is my analysis moment. So it is obtained from ETAP's ETAP result. So next, uh, let me calculate the MU limit, which means uh, moment carrying capacity of the section. So from your RCC basics, you know the formula 0 0.133 FCK into bd square so 0 0.133 fck grade of concrete 20 your width of the beam it is 380 effective depth of the beam it is 540 540 square so on solving this you will get 2947 49 280 Newton millimeter so it has to be converted for kilo Newton meter so divide this value by 10 power 6 so you will get MU limit as 294.74 kilo Newton meter so here you can say like this mu is less than mu limit so mu is your analysis moment so mu limit it is capacity of the section moment carrying capacity of your 
section. So mu is less than mu limit. So in this case, your beam it has to be designed as singly reinforced beam. It has to be designed as singly reinforced beam. Clear. So for the design of reinforcement, I use SP16 method. So in first step, you need to calculate MU divided by VD square value. So your MU is MU is nothing but your analysis moment, whatever uh, it apps it apps moment. So it is one sixty three point one four kilonewton meter. So to convert this to newton millimeter, so into ten power six, so it has to be converted for newton millimeter. So now it is one sixty three point one four into ten power six newton millimeter. So divided by your width of the section. So 380. This D effective depth. It is 540 square. So you will get MU divided by BD square value as 1.37. So let me check. So your MU is 163.14. Into 10 power 6 divided by 380 into 540 square. So I will get 1.47. Clear. So this is 1.47. Next, so refer SP16 code. So table number table number 2 so page number page number 48 so let me open the code see here here uh, you have table 2 flexure reinforcement percentage PT for singly reinforced section so here FCK is 20 Newton per mm square here you have this is your MU divided by BD square value and this is your grade of steel. Grade of steel. So in my case MU divided by BD square value is 1.47 and grade of grade of steel is FE 500. So I have to refer this column. So my MU by BD square is 1.47. So it will be in between 1.45, in between 1.45 and 1.5. So you need to do linear interpolation. So for 1.45, it is 0 0.367. For 1.5, for 1.5, it is 0 0.382. So let me record it. For 1.45, it is 0 0.367. For 1.50, it is 0 0.382. But my MU by BD square value is 1.47. So I need value for 1.47. So I have to do linear interpolation. So you can use the calculator. First mode. So select statistics. So linear. So here x value is 1.45. So for 1.45 you have 0 0.3 so 
So let me select once again. Yes, for 1.45. It is 0 0.367 for 1.50 it is 0 0.382 so now let me check it for 1.47 so click on so shift 1 so you are now select a regression 5 again for a linear interpolation select 5 so you need it for 1.47 yes let me check whether I have used the correct table 1.47 0 0.367 for 1.50 0 0.382 so on shift statistics 5 again 5 1.47 yes so now PT value is 0 0.373. See here. Now the PT value is 0 0.373. Okay. So once you get the PT value, in next step you can calculate area of steel. So you know the formula. AST equals PT BD by 100 so your pt value is 0 0.373 your width of the section 380 effective depth of the section 540 so divided by 100 so on solving this you will get 765.39 mm square this is your AST required AST required so if I use 16 mm dia bars if I use 16 mm dia bars so area of one 16 mm diameter is 200 mm square so area of required is 765.39 if i provide 16 mm dia bars so i need 3.82 numbers so i may provide four numbers It is difficult to provide 3.82 numbers so I will go with the four numbers so now calculate AST provided AST provided so I provided four number of bars so diameter 16 so this is four numbers this is die of 1 bar. So 4 into pi d square by 4. So you will end up with the steel 8 naught 4.24 mm square. So this is AST provided. So you can still optimize it by providing 12 mm die bars okay so let me check p tab answer whether i will get the same answer or not e tabs will give you ast required so my 
AST required is 765.39. So let me check with the e tabs. See here, this is my e tabs file. So this is the beam I have designed. So size of the beam is 380 into 600. The beam number it is B25. So go to design, concrete frame design, display design information. So you select total longitudinal reinforcement. Apply. Okay. See here. So your area of steel is 768. So my manual calculation result is 765. So like this you can validate your results. So you need to repeat the same steps for your span movements and similarly for this end.